going to do that. And we're going to learn more about the Model 3 when Elon takes the stage. But before we do that, a little history. Now, back in 2006, Elon unveiled a secret master plan. Now, it was so secret, we published it on our website. <laughs> now, it started with the limited production Tesla Roadster. Now, <laughs> now the Tesla Roadster, uh, it was an amazing car. And you know, you know electric cars of the past, they were, they were slow and they were clunky and they had very limited range. So when, and, but the Tesla Roadster was a true sports car. And it just shattered every myth about electric vehicles of the past. Now, the, the Tesla Roadster was incredible because it had incredible handling, incredible acceleration, a zero to 60 time of 3.7 seconds, all that, and it was absolutely beautiful. Now, uh, next, we wanted to produce a, a, you know, our next car was a, uh, the Model S, a luxury sedan, and we're gonna build, and we built it right here in our own state-of-the-art factory. Now, Model S broke every, you know, it, it won every award that the auto industry had to offer, including the coveted Motor Trend Car of the Year Award, the only electric car to win that award in their entire 64-year history. <laughs> now next, we came out with Model X, our SUV. Now Model X uh, combined, well, you know, the Model X is the one with those amazing falcon wing doors that open up. And the Model X mixes the utility of a minivan with all the, with all the, the, the fun and acceleration of an, a true sports car. It has that amazing glass window on the top. Now, it, now, if you're looking for an electric vehicle that is incredible and it's, um, you, know, sh you know, there's no cars out there that match the Model S's and the Model X's speed or range or beauty or safety. Now, we've been hard at work working on the Model 3, designing and building it. It is an exciting time here. Now, Model 3 is our first mass market car. And like all Teslas, it's all electric. Now, it's, um, now Model 3, uh, we've, we've really designed, we've been working hard to design and build these cars. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hand it over to Alan and David from our design, well, they're right over here, but they're from our design studio in Hawthorne, California. So, Alan. Thanks, Adam. My name is Alan Clark, and I lead the new programs engineering team here at Tesla. And I'm David Umai. I lead the design team that's responsible for everything that you can see and touch on our cars. You know, Alan, if I were to narrow down the exact design approach that we use here at Tesla, it would be that all of our cars are designed from the ground up as electric vehicles. You see, Teslas don't share a platform with any other car, and we start our design process from a completely blank canvas. In turn, Model S and Model X have proven to be true examples of how form can follow function without sacrificing anything in terms of comfort, performance, or styling. That's right. And without the limitations that come with gasoline-powered cars, like an engine, exhaust, or a transmission, our engineers are given the freedom to design a truly unique architecture. It provides us an unmatched cabin volume and structural capabilities, which are a foundation for an incredible crash safety and vehicle dynamics. Our cars provide an uncompromised experience, one that incorporates the best safety, comfort, performance features, and that makes up the DNA inside every single Tesla vehicle. We're pretty proud that our Model S holds the world record as the fastest accelerating vehicle with a zero to 60 time of just 2.5 seconds. Not only that, but it also achieved the highest safety rating NHTSA has ever awarded with five stars in every single category. I remember hearing that news and getting so excited knowing that Model S is not only one of the coolest cars in the world today, but it's also the safest. And we couldn't have done that without the close relationship that we have between our designers and engineers. Isn't that right, Alan? Yep. Just like we've done with our cars, we've removed all the formalities and physical barriers that would prevent our team from producing a superior automobile. Yep, I think you hit the nail on the head there. Actually, one thing I love about working at Tesla is that no one really has an office, not even Elon. This allows for a much more open and direct dialogue between the teams, and it encourages sharing of new and creative ideas. 
Working closely together allows us to continue to introduce new technologies and features that will revolutionize the way people think about travel. It offers a fundamentally better driving experience to our customers. Having experienced the end result ourselves, we couldn't be any more excited about Model 3. Thanks, Alan and David. You know, <laughs> these, these guys at the design studio are so talented. You know, I think the favorite thing about, about I, the, the, my favorite thing about the design of the cars is how timeless the cars are. You know, every time I walk up to mine, it feels like I'm seeing it for the very first time. Now that we've got a little better understanding about how we design our vehicles, we're gonna take you live to Tesla's Gigafactory in Sparks, Nevada. Over to you, Meredith. Hey guys, my name is Meredith Westifer and I'm a factory design engineer here at Gigafactory. I work on modeling the requirements of production lines and making sure that they fit and work together as efficiently as possible. It's somewhat like a giant jigsaw puzzle. When I got here about two years ago, we had maybe 20 total Tesla employees all working in one small cramped construction trailer. We were looking at some steel in the ground that would eventually become the largest building in the world. It's absolutely incredible how far we've come so fast, but hey, that's Tesla. Tesla's innovative manufacturing combined with the absolutely great economy of scale we have with this massive building have allowed us to significantly reduce the cost of battery cell manufacturing. This in turn has allowed us to achieve part three of Tesla's secret master plan, the mass market affordable electric vehicle. It's safe to say that without Gigafactory, we wouldn't be here today. The batteries that we produce at Gigafactory aren't only low cost, they're also the most reliable, highest performance batteries on the market today. A high standard that we carry through in everything we do here at Tesla. Back to you, Adam. Thanks, Meredith. You know, it's amazing how much progress we've made since I was out there, and I was out, only out there in January. You know, when the Gigafactory is done, it'll be the world's largest building by footprint and will produce more batteries than all the battery factories in the world combined by a factor of two. Now we're gonna take you inside Tesla's factory where Crystal from our manufacturing team will share a little bit more about the machine that builds the machine. Hi everyone, my name is Crystal Spates. Currently, I'm sitting right above our general assembly line inside the Tesla factory right here in Fremont, California. I'm super excited to welcome everyone watching from around the world because for the past nine months, I've been working with the team that actually built the cars we are delivering today. Not everyone gets the glimpse inside the way their car is built, so we thought we'd give you a sense of what it's like to be in the factory. First, I think it's important to appreciate that manufacturing one of anything isn't actually that hard, but Manufacturing that one thing thousands of times the same way every time is way more difficult. That's why we focus a tremendous amount of energy on constantly innovating the manufacturing process. This ensures that we can deliver you, our customer, a product that's on time and reliable. One of the ways we've been able to achieve this is with our vertical integration. Tesla manufactures as much of the car as possible right here in house. We not only build the powertrains, but we weld, paint and assemble all of the vehicles ourselves. As a result, our manufacturing teams can maintain a level of flexibility that you simply wouldn't see anywhere else. And I have to say, at the end of the day, the quality of our product comes down to the people. And I'm lucky to work side by side with them every day. My team really is the best, true go-getters who are scrappy, creative, and problem solvers. To be around people who are so energetic about what they do every single day is infectious. The spirit of knowing we are all working towards an incredibly difficult goal, but pushing to crush it is really exhilarating and motivating for us all. So here's a shout out to all of my friends in General Assembly, the people who made this moment happen. Thank you. Thank you, Crystal. Now joining me on stage is our next guest, Bria Loveday. She became an overnight viral hit when she suggested to Elon via Twitter that Tesla ought to host a contest for the best user-generated commercial. In response, we launched a global competition just a few days later. Bria, thank you for joining us tonight. Um, can you tell us how old you are and, and where you're from? 
I just turned 11, and I'm from Michigan. Well, congratulations on turning 11. Uh, now, I read the letter that you sent to Elon, and it was, it was great. Um, can you tell us how you felt when, when you found out that Elon responded? I was really excited because of how big it was. Yeah, it is, it is a big deal, isn't it? Now, now you know you, we've received hundreds of submissions, and have you watched any of them? Yes, I did. Do you have a favorite? No, I can't choose. <laughs> There's, there's a lot of really good ones, aren't they? Well, this week, we posted the top 10 Love Day videos on our Twitter feed, so our fans could vote on them. And tonight, we'll play you the top three. Here are the first two. Ooh, car. Just kidding. This is not a car commercial. This it's on your super quick Tesla fan video. First up, a super quick Tesla overview. This is a Tesla Model S. An all electric car. Zero emissions. No tail. A regenerative braking. Oh. Dual motor. All wheel drive. Yay. It's the safest car on the road. But it can do mm -hmm. zero to 60 in 2.5. And now, people asking stuff. How do you charge it? Easy. Regular charge. At any of these. Super charge. At any of these. Or just use one of these. We charge while we sleep. Next. Can you road trip? Road tripping. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just enter your destination. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> And ta-da! Supercharging stops included. Which time out nicely with we this. Got Next! Next! electric car is really small. No! The Tesla Model S is super spacious. Can comfortably fit five adults. And with rear-facing seats, fit two more kids in the back. And no engine means you can put your junk in the front. Next! Doesn't electricity come from fossil fuels? No. Tesla solar panels. And solar roofs. Tesla's Gigafactory. Manufacturing batteries. For energy storage. It's like a renewable energy ecosystem. Next! Well, global warming's a hoax. Nope, I'm done. When life gets stressful, you get outside for a walk with your Tesla. Just kidding. This Tesla is summoning. Which is great if your garage looks like this. Since a Tesla can summon into or out of tight spaces. Because it has radar, sonar, ultrasonic sensors, cameras, Tesla vision, and more. And we've run out of time. To learn more, visit your nearest Tesla dealership. Just kidding. Tesla doesn't have dealerships. Because no one needs that kind of No. Nope. Instead, visit any of their showrooms. Or go to Tesla.com. You can buy your Tesla online. Because it's 2017. You should be able to do that. And that's it for my super quick Tesla fan video. Yeah! Tesla. Ignition sequence start. Three, two, one. Lift off. We have a lift off. The bolts reach back from there to have a <laughs> Weren't those great, Bria? Would you like to announce the winner? And the winner is. Marquise Brownlee.
Thank you, everyone. And that concludes our pre-event webcast. I want to thank you, our customers and fans who tuned in to watch tonight's event. We couldn't have done any of this without your support. Please keep watching as Elon will be taking this stage shortly. Enjoy the show. Hey everybody, welcome to the back of Fremont. I couldn't imagine a better place to be on a Friday night. I'm glad you're here with me. My name is Franz, um, I head up design for Tesla, and I've been waiting a long, long time for this moment. I don't know about you guys, right? Right? Let's hear it. As Adam said, I just want to say a, a, a special thank you to everybody that's here in Fremont. We have some guests, referral guests, um, here also in the back. The people at Gigafactory, our employees all around the world, and of course, everybody that's tuned in and watching online. We couldn't do it at all without all of you, especially our employees that work day and night, in and out, and just awesome, awesome. <laughs> Give yourselves a round of, a a round of applause, come on. But I know you're not here to hear me talk about how beautiful our cars are. Who do you want to see in here? Elon. Yeah, Elon. So help me bring Elon to the stage. Let's give, point your attention over there. And let's count it down. Come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6.
<laughs> Everyone. <laughs> so, for those that are watching this uh, online, just a couple things I want to point out uh, before I go into the presentation. Uh, the, the projector that is producing that image is powered by a Model S. There are no wires. So that is a projector on a Model S <laughs> with the energy coming from the battery pack, and that is what's producing that, that image. And that, that is the factory. Like a lot of people may not realize that is, that is actually part of the factory. That is not a screen. <laughs> and the people in the audience are the people that have designed and engineered and built the Model 3. <laughs> so. All right, so let's talk, talk about what goes into making the Model 3. It starts off with design. Uh, so congratulations to the design team. You've done a phenomenal job. I've enjoyed working with you every week. You guys are amazing. Nice work. So there, there are many elements that, uh, of, of the design. It's, uh, it's difficult to actually say exactly um, what makes it good, but except to say that we, we agonize over every curve, over every detail, every corner, every element of the interior, the exterior, uh, including things that people probably won't even notice. We, we care about every, every, every part of it. The, yeah, so let's go to the next part of the interior. We aimed for something that was uh, a very simple, clean design, uh, because I think uh, in the future, well, really, future being now, um, <laughs> that uh, the cars will be increasingly autonomous. So you won't really need to look at an instrument panel all that often. Uh, you'll be able to do whatever you want. Um, you'll be able to watch a movie, uh, talk to friends, go to sleep. Uh, Every model, every Tesla being produced right now, uh, the Model 3, the Model S, the Model X has, has all of the hardware necessary for full autonomy. And I think a lot of people still don't realize that. Uh, it's got eight, the eight cameras, it's got uh, 12 ultrasonic sonar, it's got the forward radar, um, and it's got uh, over 10 teraops of computing capability. Uh, let's go more into the interior. So one of the challenges with the, the car was uh, since it is smaller than a Model S, how do we um, make a car that is smaller on the outside, bigger on the inside? So we took an idea from the Model X, which was the, 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 the canopy screen that makes you feel like you're, if you're in a Model X, it makes you feel like you're uh, flying a helicopter. It really has this amazing feel. And we turned that around, put that on the rear of the Model 3 so that you could still have a great deal of rear headroom and have, have this amazing view while being in a smaller car. It's actually one of, the, one of the toughest design challenges of making the Model 3. And then in, in terms of engineering the car, we had to engineer it to be a lot easier to build. Uh, the Model S is an amazing car, but it's very hard to build. So we had to get the part count down, design it still to be light, uh, but also to make it affordable. And the, I think that the team's done an amazing job of that. And then where this really shows up is in things like safety. So let's take a look at the safety video. Um, so on the one hand, you've got a car that is one of the safest cars in the world, a, a Volvo S60. So the, the um, um, there are a lot of cars that say they are five star, um, and they are sort of uh, five star. That's not a scientific metric, uh, but that you can, but even though they are something like the Volvo, great car, very, by normal standards, very safe. Uh, the, the, the Volvo is arguably the second safest uh, car in, in the world. Um, <laughs> but I think it is, it is obvious which car you would prefer to be in in an accident. So the first and foremost for the engineering of the, of, of the car was safety. Then in terms of production, the, the thing that's going to be the, the major challenge for us over the next six to nine months is how do we build a huge number of cars? The, um, <laughs> I mean, and frankly, we're going to be in production hell. Um, <laughs> welcome, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Welcome to production hell. Um, that, that's going to be uh, where we are for at least six months, maybe longer. Um, but you guys know that you're veterans. Uh, I've been through this. So um, I look forward to working alongside you, <laughs> journey through hell. And uh, <laughs> as the saying goes, if, you, if you're going through hell, keep going. <laughs> uh, so the, the, just to give you a sense of the size of the factory, we've got uh, the, the, our Fremont car factory, where we are right now, is the second largest footprint uh, building in the world. Uh, and that's going to ultimately produce half a million Model 3s um, and about 100,000 combined uh, S and X vehicles, and, and maybe more if, if, if we can do it. But it just gives you, I want to give you a sense of, of the, the scale and the, um, how, how much has to go right. So <clears throat> then uh, a frequent question I get asked, um, I, I notice it's uh, popping up on, on, on Twitter quite a lot. Uh, where is my Model 3? Um, sometimes not phrased quite as nicely as that. Um, yeah, um, well, <laughs> we're, we're building the cars as fast as we can. We're gonna drive this ramp as hard as we possibly can. Um, I have here a, a chart, uh, so if you uh, were had trouble falling asleep, then this chart will, might help you. Um, it, 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 the, the point is to, to give you a sense of, of how manufacturing actually works. There are, there are 10,000 unique parts in a, Model in a Model 3, and these are coming from all over the world. About, about two-thirds come from North America, and about a third from the rest of the world. But as you can see uh, with this chart, uh, which looks like we're being shot with ICBMs, um, I think that, that is the ICBM chart, actually. Um, <laughs> save us, exactly. Well, we, we need missile command. <laughs> What's the missile command button? Um, but uh, almost anything that goes wrong anywhere in the world, if we, don't ha if we haven't buffered the supply chain, will interrupt the, the, the production progress. Um, when you have 10,000 unique items in a, in a, in a vehicle or any, any, uh, any object, uh, any one of them uh, can slow down the production process. So the, the production rate will move as fast as the slowest and, and least luckiest component in, on the, in the whole mix. Then on top of that, we have the Gigafactory. So this is a, a sub motion. We started off with it, there being nothing. There was just a sort of desert and built what is now one of the large, it's actually now the largest uh, battery factory in the world. And when it's done, uh, we'll produce more uh, lithium ion batteries than the rest of global production combined from one building. So, yeah. so th in fact, let's, let's go to the Gig Factory live, see if we can connect to them. Hey, guys. So we have a whole bunch of people at uh, in Nevada um, that are helping make the pack, the battery pack, and the, uh, the, the motor, the powertrain, and, um, so we've got giant, giant factory making battery packs and powertrains, giant factory making cars, and giant supply train. Um, and so all of those have to work together uh, in, in, in cadence in order to get to our initial target of 5,000 cars a week, and then um, hopefully uh, by the end of next year towards 10,000 cars a week. And then uh, you're probably wondering, OK, will I be able to charge my car? Um, well, this is like probably the second most common question I get on Twitter, like, uh, the supercharger is full, uh, what is wrong with you? Uh, <laughs> why are you such a huge idiot? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, okay, we, we are tripling the number of, by, by, by the end of next year, there will be three times as many superchargers as there are today. So that should really help out a lot. And, uh, essentially, you'll be able to go uh, almost anywhere, uh, North America, Europe, Asia, Australia, um, and uh, many parts of Asia and, and the, um, the Gulf area uh, by the end of next year. Eventually, you'll be able to go anywhere on Earth. Woo! Yeah. So, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, 
and, and actually, technically, you can go anywhere on Earth, because anywhere on Earth where there's electricity, you can charge your car. So the supercharger is just about being able to charge a car really fast. Okay, so let's talk about the specs for the Model 3. There are, there are two uh, main variants. There's the standard and the long range. Uh, the standard, well, is going to be $35,000 for a 220 mile range. It's going to be a, a, a fast car, so the acceleration will still be uh, well under six seconds, 130 mile, out, mile an hour top speed. And then you can also get the long range one, uh, which will have a range of 310 miles. Um, yeah. And be about roughly five seconds zero to 60, 140 mile an hour top speed. So this, it's going to be a really uh, great car. I think uh, you would not be able to find a better car, gasoline or electric, in, in that price range that is anywhere near as, as great. All right. So let's hand over some cars. We have the first 30, we have the first 30 production cars here being charged right now, right there. So, <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> those are actual owners uh, getting actual production cars. Hey. So there's actually, let's see, so there's actually a total of, of, of 50 production cars that we've made this month. And um, 20 of which will be used for engineering validation, 30 of which will be on the roads uh, with, with customers. And um, uh, I want to uh, uh, just say to those that have lined up uh, for, to buy a, a Model 3 and, and that in some cases spent days uh, outside of our stores to, uh, to, to be first on the list, uh, I, want, I just want you to know we, we really, that really matters to us. Like, we really care. Um, and we're going to do everything we possibly can to get you the car as soon as possible. Uh, so uh, we're going to work day and night to, to do right by the, by the loyalty that you've shown us. So thank you for doing that. <laughs> and then just a, a reminder, we've got uh, now three cars uh, in production. Um, there's the, the X, the the S and the, the three. Those letters can be combined however you'd like. Um, and uh, the, uh, it, 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 to give you a sense, if you, if you order a Model 3 now, you'll probably get it uh, towards the end of next year. Uh, but because the S and the X are in production, if you order them now, you can get them in about one or two months. Um, and as uh, I'd like to thank the, all the customers who, have, ha who own a, a Model S and X and those who, who buy a Model S and an X, because in doing so, you make the three possible. Uh, the, the money that we, we make with, with an S and X all goes into building Model 3. So thank you for doing that. Uh, thank you for our longtime supporters. And thank you guys for making it. Thank you.